Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You can see I'm out here in the woods. That's why I'm kind of whispering. I never want to be scaring the critters. But this is a buck bourbon test. We got two of the buck bourbon products right here that I'm going to show you. We're going to put it in front of two different trail cameras up here and see what critters show up. See how long it takes for this stuff to disappear. See if it's worth any count. First off the bat, I'm gonna tell you straight up, this is not a paid ad or anything like that. Lots of stuff you see on the internet is, so you better be careful, but I picked this stuff at the tractor supply yesterday. Let me show you up close these two bags, then I'm gonna put it out here and a little bit further down the trail, both of this stuff side by side, and we've got two trail cameras set on pictures and videos and i'm going to show you guys with the timestamps and everything we'll see what shows up and how long it takes them to get rid of it it might be 30 minutes it might be a week i don't know but that's why we do this ought to be a whole lot of fun then we'll know are these two things worth picking up i don't know but that's why we do these videos let me show you the bags up close real quick so like i said both of these are from buck bourbon 110 proof deer attractant and then their barrel proof, highly attractive supplemental feed. This is apple and butterscotch. So this stuff right here, I'm gonna show you both sides of the bag. I tried some of this last summer. Is their smaller bag? This is the big bag, 25 pounds. I think they make it eight pound. I tried some of the smaller ones last summer and whatever ate it, ate it very quickly, found it very quickly. We're gonna try it in front of the trail cameras here. Let me show you kind of what it looks like. It's got some corn in it, then a bunch of this ground up stuff. Oh, and I'll show you the whole bag here. You can pause it if you want to read this whole thing through, but it says proprietary protein rich sweet feed. Yada, yada, yada. You get it. Brings in deer from a long ways away. It says for best results, begin feeding two weeks before your first hunt. Check your local laws to make sure you can do that. Hunt over it. But, let's uh, see what it says here. Number one ingredient, processed grain byproducts. Hard to know exactly what that is. Then salt. That's interesting. Second ingredient is salt. Then corn. So, large, there's not a whole lot of corn in it. You'll see it when I dump it out. So, by far, the mostly what's in here is this processed grain uh, byproducts. And it shows this stuff here. Made in the USA. It says Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Not too far from me. Then, the second one. And I, I got this at Tractor Supply, like I said. I want to say it was 20 bucks or 25 bucks. I forget. I got this one because they had it on clearance for only 14 bucks. Uh, I couldn't tell you the regular price. Like I said, I got it on clearance. So, this stuff you can see has a lot more corn in it. Apple and butterscotch, uh, highly attractive feed, it says. Flip it over. <clears throat> See what this one says here. The Barrel Proof Story. Supplemental protein feed with apple and butterscotch flavoring to make it more attractive. Instructions. Put it in a covered trough for gravity type feeder. Uh, also be put on the ground if there's no rain in the forecast. Hopefully we're not having any rain. I didn't check. This has the same uh, main ingredient, grain byproducts. Then this says grain products. Hmm. Roughage, silicone dioxide. Then, uh, when you see the, the gist there. And yeah. Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. But I'm going to pour half of these out. I'll show you here. Just right here. Boom, boom. And then we'll go up the trail and do another spot. Then we'll check all the uh, trail cam video and pics. <laughs> all right, so I just double checked. This camera right here is a cell phone one, so it's sending me pictures of myself right now. But right here by this tree, we ought to have good footage. Let's see what's checking this stuff out. Trade knives, by the way. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, just picked up some of those. Oh my goodness. The, uh, that's the shortest blade I've ever used. Anyways, uh, 
Let me pour half this out right here. About a good half. That was the 110 proof. Now let me grab that butterscotch stuff. <coughs> So that just shows you this is the 110 proof and then this is the barrel proof so you can see this is like uh, almost looks like coffee grounds super uh, very strong smelling so I can't wait to see if some stuff even pops up here in the daytime and then this stuff I've never tried before but it's got some finer stuff that's kind of ground up and then corn and then it looks like maybe three other different things in there. Smell check. Definitely smell the apple in there. But got this here. Now let's go run up to another camera and put the rest of the bags out here. All right, spot number two. Camera right there. I think right about here will be good. Same thing with this 110 proof out here. And the rest of this barrel part of stuff. One tin proof is the more brown, and then that barrel proof has got the more yellow in there. Somebody's gonna ask me, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. This is one of the trail cameras. I forget the brand name of this one, it doesn't say it on the front, but 24 megapixel pictures ended us pretty good quality video. I just heard something out here. Might have been a squirrel. Oh, but I'll put a link to that one if you guys wanna check it out. Probably the best quality as far as the price compared to the pictures that I found. We got it running out here. It's not a cell phone one, so you're gonna to have to go check it, but that just means it's cheaper. And I'll show you the other one. All right, now here's my other camera. This one actually does say it. This is a Tacticam Reveal X Pro. It's got the antenna, that means it's a cell phone camera. That one's sending pictures to my phone anytime something pops up, so I'll actually have a preview of what's eating on this stuff. But. Links to all this stuff down below if you guys want to check it out. I'll try to find links for this feed. Like I said, I picked it up at the local tractor supply. And uh, they carry that stuff a lot more often uh, during the season. But this is middle of February and I picked it up. But trail cameras, looking at some buck bourbon. Let's uh, see what the footage shows. I think we'll probably see some stuff, hopefully real soon. All right, so it's only been 24 hours. I had planned on waiting two days, 48 hours before we come and checked it, but my cell phone camera sent me the notification that the batteries were dying. So I drove out here to swap the batteries out. Figured we might as well check on things. But one of these cameras is a cell phone camera and the other one is not. Well, the cell phone camera has been going off nonstop since just about we put this stuff out which is a good sign we'll get to all that footage here in a second but let me show you this pile behind me and then the one that we got up the trail ways see what they've eaten up here hold on 
So, you can see here, we'll check the footage, but the 110 proof, it's kind of hard to say, but it kind of looks a little bit untouched right now. We'll check in the pictures and the video footage, but it looks to me like this barrel proof stuff is getting hit more. You can see it went all the way up there, and it looks like they're picking a lot of the corn out of it. I can smell this stuff pretty strong right here, but looks like they're picking all through it, uh, grinding some of it up there to dust. From right now, without reviewing the video footage, it looks like the barrel proof is beating the 110 proof, but we're gonna check all the footage here in the video. Let's go hit that other spot. So this is the other spot, and this is very interesting. You can see from three feet away, almost all of that barrel proof is gone, and the 110 proof is still sitting there. So this spot is actually on a pretty heavily traveled path, whereas that other spot, it's kind of deeper in the woods where this path is one we get a lot of bucks running up and down whereas the bucks are kind of afraid to go travel that other spot so i'm super interested to see what's on this camera but on this spot looks like they're eating everything not only the corn from that barrel proof but also almost all the pellets are gone where looks like they really haven't touched that so so far looks like the barrel proof is beating the 110 proof where I am at. But I'm gonna go pull the cards off of these cameras tomorrow and we're gonna see what all kind of critters are gonna be on here. I'm excited, stay tuned. We're gonna have pictures and the videos. 110 proof, buck bourbon, verse, the barrel proof, buck bourbon, pretty cool stuff. I love doing these kind of things, seeing what the critter's like. I just came to check the cameras and there's a whole bunch of turkeys up in here. So probably gonna have some turkey pictures and video. All right guys, well, there's some crows that aren't real happy, but just crept up in here to pull these cards. We've waited a little bit over 48 hours. Uh, with this two things of buck bourbon out bunch of turkeys were just right here walking in let's pull these two cards but before i show you what's on those cards let me show you the ground here they really tore this spot up right here so this is the second spot yesterday remember they had destroyed pretty much all of that barrel what was that barrel proof over here the yellow bag and then the 110 proof wasn't touched as much. Well now, all that's pretty much gone. If you were walking through the woods, you wouldn't have known something was there. And the 110 proof, that ground is all tore up all through here. And even, it, it was up there. Now it's all tore up and slung down through here. I'm assuming that's from the turkey scratching, but. All right, so here's that first spot similar story guys pretty much everything's gone you can get up and see that there's kind of some little bit fine particles of both that yellow bag and the 110 proof i think it's called barrel proof i forget already but both of them completely gone everything's gone everything's gone all right guys so back at the house i just put those two cards in from those cameras and the computer and thumb through them Pretty much non-stop, night and day, critters on this. Turkeys, deer, I saw a couple raccoons in there. The pictures and the videos that I really think are cool when you have the deer and the turkeys in the same shot together, I just think that's really cool. But I'm not gonna put all of them in here, or we, this would be like a 15 hour video, but I'm gonna throw in some of the highlights of some the pictures and maybe some videos. And we'll just see what was munching on that stuff.
But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Look down below for links where you can pick this stuff up if that might float your boat. But less than 48 hours, what did I put out there? 70, 80 pounds worth of goodies, and it was all gone. But I wanted to do that quick video. Like I said, pick that stuff up from Tractor Supply. Uh, it's got corn in it. Corn is pretty much universal for critters to come eat. Uh, but all the other pellets and doodads and whatnots is in that stuff was pretty much gone too by the end of day two. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below if you want to see us test out some other stuff or let me know what you like to use. Appreciate y'all watching. We got the best viewers on the interwebs. Y'all already know that. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-hoo.